Lots of heads and hands and no doubt frustration at Dublin Airport today. Let's hear what's been happening there with Owen Corr, editor of Travel Extra magazine. Um, what can you tell us, Owen? Good evening, Declan. Um, it has been a day, a bit of a mess. Welcome to the world of convoluted world of aviation politics and even the more convoluted world of French aviation politics. A strike that was called didn't go ahead, but all the flights were cancelled anyway. The way it works is that the uh, French authorities, the DGAC, um, when they get the strike notice, they tell airlines you have to cancel a certain proportion. They leave it up to the airlines what routes they cancel. And the airlines then cancel. As it happened, the strike, uh, they struck one of these talk through the night. It wasn't actually a 4 a.m. deal. It was talk through the night and most of the morning and they struck a deal ye uh, yesterday, but the flights were cancelled anyway. 23 rotations, Dublin, two Shannon, one Cork. Uh, there was one Belfast flight which got through, wasn't cancelled. The EasyJet at four o'clock to Charles de Gaulle. Uh, Ryanair Beauvais uh, do from Belfast doesn't fly until Saturday, luckily enough, and EasyJet Leon and Bordeaux were not flying today. So Belfast got off reasonably well, but there were 2,000 flights cancelled as a result of this little dance. And Owen, what's, uh, what's Ryanair's boss, Michael O'Leary, had to say about this? Has he had anything to say? Oh, I bet he has. No, he's, <laughs> he's been has. very quiet. <laughs> has he? He's okay. been very quiet and reticent. <laughs> and Michael O'Leary, he's always, he's always about two notches away from uh, losing it uh, at the best of times. So this really drove him over the edge. Um, his, his line and his consistent line on French air traffic control strikes because there is a, a cycle of them that they seem to crop up every Tuesday during the summer. He says that um, most countries, Italy, Greece, places like that, allow overflights if there's an air traffic control strike. France does not. And uh, even if, if that means that you, you have to fly from uh, over France to get to a lot of Europe from Ireland. So Flights to Barcelona, Mal uh, Mallorca, places like that were cancelled because of the overflights. Today was a little bit better. The overflights uh, would, there were about another two, the Ryanair lost 300 flights. They would have lost another 200, but they managed because the overflights could go ahead uh, not to lose those today. But it's always a danger if you don't allow the overflights. The French air traffic control unions are given this uh, almost uh, unlimited power to cause absolute havoc beyond their boundaries. And to complicate the matter further, there are three competing unions. Uh, the largest of them is the one that called a strike uh, and called it off. They have about 41% of the air traffic controllers. There's two with just over 20% each. They compete for members. They compete for belligerents. When you sign a deal with one of them, uh, the other two unions say, oh, we can get a better deal. So it's, it's an ongoing cycle is that of why after that's interesting is that why because i was thinking I, I don't remember ever reading a script that says air traffic controllers strike from some other country it does repeatedly seem to be french air traffic controllers that we are ta talking about three four times a year sometimes more often than that, uh, we and they get caught up in other campaigns, such as the pension campaign. Uh, they also have bases, the three different unions will have different strengths and different bases. Marseille is a particular problem. Um, Charles de Gaulle really, although it was, it was put on for cancellations today, doesn't normally get hit as badly as the south of France. Other countries go on strike. Um, air traffic controllers have gone on strike in Spain and Italy, but it tends to get... It, it's easier to resolve when you've only got one person, one group in the U, in the room, and you don't have two or three outside uh, saying, uh, "Okay, if if they've got a deal, we're going on strike to get a better one." Well, uh, no one begrudges anyone a better deal, I suppose. Uh, Owen, thanks very much. Just in a sentence, are planes all in the wrong places now because of this? It's going to take a couple of days to un unravel. Aviation's good at getting uh, people back to where they're supposed to be. It's the airline's problem, not the passenger's problem. One thing I would say is, good idea on your flight insurance to have flight disruption cover. If you miss that match because of flight disruption, your ordinary travel insurance doesn't cover it. Put flight disruption in and you're in a better position to get your money back, although uh, the concert or the match may already be over. Owen Corr, editor of Travel Extra.